Hi everyone, today I'm going to make a quick video to talk about an interesting pattern I want you to think about. I think it might save a few people from gambling away some of their hard-earned money, give you a perspective on how far we've come on the altcoin market, and what could the future hold for altcoins. You'll realize that if you take a step back, the picture is very different from what you might think. Hi guys, it's Jerome. I do videos about cryptocurrencies, trying to bring you the tools and mindset for you to become truly independent. I'm trying to share truthfully all of my struggles, victories, and lessons I learned along the way so that you can reach financial success much faster than I did. Today's video will be broken down into three parts. Part number one, what is the death roller coaster pattern? Part number two, why it makes me think of all coins and part number three how to survive this pattern okay so part number one what is the death roller coaster pattern so i came across this chart on twitter back in september last year and i didn't really pay attention at the time but now i find great analogies with the state of the crypto market the pattern is called the euthanasia roller coaster it is a hypothetical roller coaster that is designed to kill its passengers. It was designed and made into a scale model by Lithuanian artist Julianas Urbanoas, a PhD candidate at the Royal College of Art in London. Urbanoas, who has worked at an amusement park, stated that the goal of his concept roller coaster is to take lives with elegance and euphoria. The process of this pattern is the following, and I'll explain a bit later why it makes me think about the crypto market. So to begin with, 20 people on board into the euthanasia train. Then the train start, launching people into a steep angle lift to 510 meter stop, which would take two minutes to reach. Passenger can get off along the way. Then a 500 meter drop would make the train reach 360 kilometer terminal velocity. Terminal velocity means that it's the maximum speed attainable by an object as it falls through a fluid like air. Then follows a series of seven loops, all having a smaller diameter than the previous one. The goal is to maintain lethal 10G force pressure into the passengers while it loses spread. After a sharp right hand turn, the train would finally enter a straight where unloading of corpses and loading of new passengers could take place. So what is really happening in this euthanasia co roller coaster? Well, it kills all the passengers through prolonged cerebral hypoxia, which means insufficient oxygen to the brain. The ride inflicts 10 G on its passenger for 60 seconds, which grays out vision and puts you into a loss of consciousness. Now, part number two, why this pattern makes me think about crypto. This pattern makes me think about crypto just visually speaking. The crypto charts are just starting to unravel the same way the euthanasia roller coaster is designed. Which makes me wonder, what if some crypto altcoins were actually experiencing the same pattern? You know my stance about the crypto market right now, I think we've gone too far too fast and I've never been a proponent of 150k Bitcoin in 2021. If you're in my chat rooms, you know that I've been much, much more cautious about a parabolic move than most of the entertainers and crypto Twitter. What if the first phase of altcoin crypto was the exact same phase as the one on the euthanasia roller coaster? The one that excites you just to better kill you afterwards. I cannot help myself but look at how far all of those crypto rose and how little the real life impact really was. If you think about it, even things like Solana, Cardano rose to almost $100 billion for little to no impact. There was no one application in either of those that really reached mass adoption or success. Even though I believe in the long term of those projects, I couldn't help myself and keep seeing this massive disconnection between the hype and the reality. I still think infrastructure plays like these will survive, but it's much, much more uncertain for smaller coins and other applications. Some of the old coins out there just rose because initial influx caused by massive money entering the crypto space. But really, the fundamentals are terrible. Most of them have tiny network size and zero growth right now. If you think about it, 
the more altcoins take time to bounce, the more I think people will run out of hope, just like they are running out of oxygen in the euthanasia roller coaster. I believe that the dreams of millions of dollars we were promised by entertainers will take a hit and will be shattered the longer it takes to go back. That is why, in my approach of investing, I always make sure that what I own is super high quality tokens and that the on-chain metric is in my favor. You will rarely see me gambling on something without a proper research and at least some form of narrative. I'm not going to point specifically to any altcoins, but I think most of the 50,000 cryptos out there do not deserve to have such valuations. I've already expressed my thoughts on which coins I'm bullish on based on narrative and valuations. And if you want to access details about my thoughts, narratives and picks, you can join my premium Discord group. The link will be in the description down below. It's going to be the place where I share all of my research, including my picks in the Cardano ecosystem over the next few months, because I think it's going to be one of the best DeFi ecosystem in the future. So if you want to learn together, make sure you check out the link in the description. Going back to the roller coaster, I think the altcoin market is about to mess with people's emotion with multiple ups and downs before the highest quality coins can resume their uptrend. Remember that most altcoins don't have real life impact or adoption yet and that good things take time. And my personal view is that we'll have to wait quite a while before we see another 10x or 20x move on major altcoins. I'm convinced that along the way, lots if not most of the cryptocurrencies will die. So again, make sure that you own real high quality and survive. So part number three, how can you survive this pattern? I'll give you three quick tips today on how to survive this euthanasia roller coaster. Number one, have your emotions disconnected. Don't follow the herd blindly because you heard someone say this or that. Spend the time to understand your emotions and develop a real skill. Start asking yourself who is controlling who. Is it the market that controls you or is it you who controls what you do in those markets. Number two, look at fundamentals to confirm if what you own is growing or not. Do the work yourself so that you build real convictions on what you're investing in. What you want to build is a skill that allows you to find great ideas over and over again consistently. Tip number three, stay humble and don't project what you want from the market. The crypto market has this uncanny ability to humble you right away after you've reached a peak. So make sure you work on your emotional intelligence to be able to stomach anything in those markets. The big winner in all of this is Bitcoin. I've explained my thought process on Twitter, so make sure you follow me there. The market is still a bit shaky and remember that surviving is winning in crypto. As for the euthanasia roller coaster, at least you've seen it and have it in your mind now. So I hope if it ends up actually happening, hopefully you are prepared. If you want to support me, please consider staking with Mark Cardano's stake pool, Cardano Republic. For those of you that really want to go the extra mile in building and sharpening your investment skill, you can join my premium Discord channel. The link will be in the description down below. All right, guys, let's end off with the French quote of the day. La pensée du profit obscurcit nos émotions. The thought of profit darkens our emotions. So take a step back and ask yourself, what is this journey all about? Are you in it just for the money? All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. That was Jerome and until next time, bye-bye.